Welcome to my channel, my name is Valerio and today we're not gonna review any particular product. What we're gonna do is just gonna be a tour of my collection. But before I start to show what I have there, first let me give you a brief introduction about it. I don't have an infinite space where I can collect, I cannot buy infinite amount of stuff, and so uh, a year and a half ago I decided that I would keep only 50 pieces. These 50 pieces are either the one that surprised me the most on a technical level or actually the one that I prefer from uh, an emotional standpoint or for more or memory reason. Now, if you have any question about the, part, the pieces that we're gonna see, don't worry, I will tell each and every one of them what it is. Uh, but if you want an help in finding, man, in finding them, Unfortunately, I think that eBay is going to be kind of the only option as close to 100% of the, this piece cannot be easily find online. Now, I don't show everything, everything that I have because I collect, I also have a ton of model kits, but I keep them separate from my diecast collection. Uh, same with the RoboSense. Uh, they are apart because I cannot expose them because technology and we, it will get ruined. Now that I finish with the introduction, please uh, let's start the tour and still if you like the content of this channel uh, like and subscribe if you are so nice because I'm really close to 1000 so it would be cool to reach it okay guys so first as an introduction the room is like uh, six feet by nine so very very tiny and we start with a shadow where I try to get everything in and it's really hard because being so small kind of makes it hard to show everything plus this is the room where i do my airbrushing where i do my modeling work so it's a bit of a problem anyway let's start with the transformer these are the non-transforming robots from flame toys uh they are all transformer from idw they are all pretty heavy in diecast they are super possible and super cool now we have drift the first one of this line that unfortunately didn't age as well uh, because joints are not great star saber which is still one of my favorite figures to date then uh here we go with megatron i had oh sorry tarn i blanked out about tarn and megatron megatron is cool but it has some issues that didn't show up at the beginning and the amazing hot rod and in front of them we have bamboo Bee. then we have uh then we have the magic square megatron and the new age optimus prime each of them legend scale and super cute down below we have a tiny bit the uh quite hard to put into a proper position because they're quite of bulky and everything and we have the line barrel of iron the armor full up power version cool manga if you're interested into it optimus prime with the jet power version from flame toys jet steel from flame toys and megazo from flame toys by which i give you the news they announced also the titanus i found the news on gokin if you're interested into it now uh sorry the jets is cute but i still have to find out how to pose it Okay, now we go below and we see the Diaclone. Uh, the Diaclone, there is a bunch of stuff. My kids love it. And we have Diaclone, the Alp 100, and various of them. Honestly, there are a bunch and there are even more around the house. These are just the ones that I keep into the main room. And now we go to look into the part that I'm more, uh, let's say, is not necessarily about quality, but more about how I did like the cartoon when I was tiny. So we have General Frankie from One Piece, from which I'm a big fan. Now we have Gridman, one of the latest shows that I used to watch. Not the best of the product, but still super cute and well done. Then we have the Garen Lagan. Uh, this is the Ryobot version. This is Yato Dettaman. And that is the Riot. Uh, is the the Riot for, um, for Magic Knight Riot. Both of these ones are not a great product. And if some other company decide to make it in a better way, I will actually uh, swap them because they are very tiny and not exactly well done. Now we go with what are the classic robots, so 70s, 80s kind of things. And we have the Black Getter. Well, the Black Getter actually is from uh, Getter Armageddon. There we have the Godam. Uh, Godam is from Post Plus. Getter was Blitzway. Uh, Boss Robot, amazing. Then is Mazinger Z from Action Toys Heavy Metal. Good, good product, more similar to a statue than actually a robot, but still a bit possible. Uh, the Grandizer Ryobot. So this is, I'm looking for a better product out of it. Uh, I didn't find anything yet. The future is cool, but I cannot find one that is properly well painted, unfortunately. 
the Voltron Blitzway, the original one obviously. It is great, possible, a bit too big for my taste, but very, very cool. And this is a placeholder, the Baikan Fu is just a placeholder for uh, Gordian, that was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Still, they're pretty cool and they look cool together. Now we go below to this shelf and we have the Salanthropos from uh, Metal Gear, for one, from one of the Metal Gear Solid. So this unfortunately is a KO, I didn't know where I bought it and then I got stuck with it. And this is the Archcore, a combiner robot, which I found really cute and I didn't get rid of it. So uh, I bought it a couple of years ago and good price. I don't know why I keep it to be fully, fully honest. Now we go with the Super Robot Wars shelf that are the one in the middle. So I'm a big fan of Super Robot Wars. Here we have the G Thunder Kaiser, uh, sorry, the G Kaiser, uh, the Yaldabaoth from Super Robot Wars Alpha, if I'm not wrong. Uh, then the Argan, the SRX, all of these are Sentinel and Ryobot. Like, other than him, that is the Altizen from Flame Toys. Uh, Flame Toys is still Sentinel. Then we have the Shingeter Dragon, uh, Ryobot because he is a Super Robot Wars protagonist, uh, still from Super Robot War 30. Then we have the Hackabane 30, not a great version, the Metal Robot. If somebody did it better, I will actually change it. We have the Dankuga. I'm waiting for the option power to make it become Ultimate Dankuga. They kind of show it last year and they dis disappear. If they don't appear, I will just sell it because uh, I'm not a giant fan of Dankuga. It looks a bit awkward. Joints are pretty terrible, so uh, not my not not great below i have my few action figures uh the guyver is going to be replaced by the one six cave there's going to be another grid man and there is the daigur and lagan that for how badly is done is so is so fun it, it is really a funny uh, character to look at I, I i have the alpha idea of repainting it anyway let's go with the flying guys or the guys with wings we have the Sear Bind Metal build, so this one really doesn't show live how good it is, the color, but the color is really, really good, highly recommended. The Gurren Satan uh, from Code Geass, uh, this is my favorite make out of it. I'm not uh, too much of a fan of the Lancelot, if I'm not wrong, I prefer that this one is asymmetric. The Raidin from Rivot, it is nice, but if I were to find the future on a decent price, I would swap it with that. This is very, very plausible, but also, I don't know. Uh, doesn't feel, doesn't fulfill me. The Eva, the, the Eva one, uh, 2020. This is one that I'm trying to get rid of and put up for sale for sure. The Ultimate Gravion, I'm not happy, don't know why I buy it. It just partially transformed. Uh, it's not a bad product, just bah, doesn't fit that much. The Shingeter one, uh, Metabit, I very like this character and this interpretation, really powerful. The uh, Getter Devolution. Lots of fun out of it. Uh, I'm still looking for the proper wings and the tail and the extra weapon, but I cannot find it on a decent price. Too bad because it's a still sentient and lovely figure. Here we have the two, actually the Jehuti and the Anubi, Ryobot, a bit older, uh, from the video game Zone of the Enders. And uh, now Kotobuki is reprinting them. Uh, as model kit, if you're interested, you don't have the budget to go on eBay and find them. Now for the Brave, we have the Genesis Gaugaigar and the King Jader. Then we have the Pose Plus um, uh, uh, Star Gaugaigar. I'm not a giant fan of the expansion set. Um, like it, it looks so awkward that makes me want to get rid of the whole thing. I didn't make my final decision about it, but mm, I'm a bit, I don't know, uh, not fully fulfilled by it occup occupy too much space and lost too much mm. without giving back oh the, oh sorry there is also the the guan on the extreme left from sentinel metamorphose then we have scorponok and a bunch of tiny uh trans transformer into legend scale uh scorponok uh, it is giant 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 and when make it want to play we extract it from there Okay, now for the rest, the most expensive stuff in my room, my paint extractor, my film extractor, I paint quite a bit. And uh, this is the real flex of the video, which is my color collection. This is only half of it, the other half you can see it on my Instagram videos. If you follow, there is a link onto the page that you can 
uh, onto the main page, and then it's Hero Body Megalopoly, same thing. I show the work, but I don't show the video. And the other paints, uh, I'm doing the bust of the Mirage 132 scale. These are a couple of resin kit that I'm doing for a good friend of mine. Some extra color. This is the real flex, the colors, the colors you cannot get whatsoever in North America, unless you have some really good friends that bring it to you from, from Japan, as it is in my case. Other colors from Gaia, from Born Paints, I, I will have the show up hyperchrome in a few days really excited about trying that one anyway let me try to give you a full shot of the collection as you see it's not too many pieces there are a lot of collection where there are lines over lines over lines of robot not a giant fan of those i like my collection to be a bit curated of stuff that i find pretty and doesn't get and i don't get bored to look at as i say i think that uh, die cast wise i will just swap a piece here and there and don't add any more until it actually, you know, feels, uh, feels fulfilling. I would like to build a diorama around it, but you could actually decrease a lot the piece. So next step this, uh, this summer in the cold, cold, um, I mean, warm Calgary, because it gets warm also here, I think I will just uh, paint all the shelves black. Maybe attach some building here and there from Tiny Hong Kong <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, uh, what do you think about my collection? If you have any question about any of the piece, or if you uh, think that maybe there have been better piece out of it done, or why I don't own any CCS, it is because I don't like them. That's the reply. But if you have any question, please let me know below. And I will try to reply, and, and I always reply to everything. And please, still again, if you like, if you like this video, please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the week guys